I love playing music. There's such a variety you can do with a guitar, and it's easier to take around than a piano. <laughs> and there's times that when I'm in there playing, Keebler will come in there and sit down and just lay there. I think he's a music fan. Keebler's my first guide dog, even though I've been declared blind since 1993. It started with night blindness, and then I started noticing that my central vision was uh, diminishing. I couldn't play catch with my kids as I couldn't see the ball coming. So that's when I ended up going to the eye doctor. And he determined that I had a retinal dystrophy of unknown origin. I couldn't all of a sudden read the newspapers, but I could see out of the side of my eyes. So I sort of continued life like that. I was one of those that kind of never faced the music. Never even used a white cane till I met my wife. I met Jim on Valentine's Day. There was a local bar restaurant down there that had open mics on Tuesday nights, so I would go in there and, and you know, be able to get up on stage and play. I was in a terrible mood. I didn't want anyone to talk to me. I um, was just sipping on my wine and eating my salad, exhausted after a long day of work. I just happened to sit down a few seats away from her. And I saw him sliding down towards me, and I'm saying to myself, oh, no, 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 just don't come talk to me. I asked her if she was alone. I said, what are you nuts? Can't you see I'm here alone? And of course he explained to me that he obviously could not see that. And um, then he, he actually put a smile on my face. That was uh, Valentine's Day, 2017. And we got married that December, December 8th. When I met Jim, he was not using a white cane. And I said to him, what are you, nuts? He had everyone fooled. I got a phone call one day, she starts asking me all these questions. She's asking my social security, and I'm thinking, <laughs> what's she I gonna do? To Is she gonna take my bank account or something? <laughs> I said, I'm filling in an application for a guide dog. Within six months, he was already invited to come up to the school. And um, that was a very happy day in his life. He had tears in his eyes. I remember match day. I sat in my room, and uh, there was a knock at the door, and in they came with Keebler. And my goodness, he, he couldn't have been more excited. I picked up my guitar and went over and sat at the edge of the bed. I started strumming some chords, and he he laid down right on top of my feet, just laid there. I guess he likes music. Uh, he hasn't said anything different, so <laughs> me, he listens to whatever's being played. Keeler does anything and everything that we do. He is very well behaved. Easy going, you can take him anywhere. He's a perfect flyer. He's a perfect car traveler. He's been to a Broadway show. And he goes to my acoustic gigs. We have a tandem trike that we ride around our lake and he runs beside of us. Gets some good exercise there. Don and I used to have a kayak. We even had a little life preserver for him. And people would laugh at the picture because he had life preserver on and we did. And he's a natural swimmer. <laughs> Every day when I wake up and I see Jim with Keebler, I think of other people that are in need. And I need to do something 
to repay, to give back. And I don't have millions, otherwise I would also donate my millions to Southeastern Guide Dogs. That's when my career started as a puppy raiser. Let's go. When we first got Jojo, he was, I think, 13 weeks old. He was a little shy at the beginning, but I think Keebler brought him out of his shell. And he's the cutest little thing. Jojo will mimic uh, Keebler. They both sit perfect for dinner. They don't break until I give them the command. You know the routine, you sit. And he's only five months old, so you'll have another five, six months right. with Keebler. And Good job, baby. You should be ready to go. And onto the step. Yay! Don't let Jim hear this. <laughs> but I hope to be raising puppies for the rest of my life, as long as I can. I was declared uh, legally blind in 1993. Back then, a light didn't go off. I could have had a dog back then. I would never change anything because I wouldn't be where I am today. And where I am today is the best place I've ever been in my life. View every episode of Dogs of Destiny at guidedogs.org slash dogs of destiny.